My name is Zhi Qiangliu. I'm from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, China. Um, this work is a joint work with Bing and Vincent and some other guys. Uh, firstly, I will give a brief introduction to <coughs> the motivation to do this work and some related, related works and some uh, and main results of, 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 of our work. And then I will give some definitions used in this work. And our work mainly consists of uh, four parts. The, the first part um, gives the links between impossible, impossible differential and zero Gauss linear how. And the second part uh, gives the links between integral and zero Gauss linear how. And uh, the third part uh, builds links between impossible differential and integral. And the, third, uh, the fourth part applies the, the, the above links to some block cipher and structures and get some new, in, new integrals. And finally, I give the conclusion of this work. And block ciphers are considered vital elements in constructing some cryptographic schemes such as um, stream ciphers, hash, hash functions, MAC, and so on. And the code security of these schemes depends on the underlying block ciphers. Up to now, uh, many cryptanalytic techniques have, have been proposed to evaluate the security of block ciphers. And along with uh, more and more cryptanalytic tools being proposed, uh, one may ask if there are some direct links of, among different cryptanalytic tools. And uh, this topic has, has been actively uh, investigated recently. In Eurocrypt 1994, some results on, on the links between differential linear crypt analysis was proposed and later in Eurocrypt 2013-2014, um, this results was further improved to make it more applicable and some new formulas between the probability of truncated differential and the correlation of linear how uh, was proposed. And in Asia Crypt 2012, some results on the links between integral and the zero current linear how was proposed. And it shows that um, a zero current linear how can lead to an integral distinguisher under certain conditions, and a special integral can lead to a zero current linear how. And in Eurocrypt 2013, uh, some, some results on the links between impossible differential and zero current linear how was proposed, and later in essence, to 2014 and FSC 2015. This result was further improved to make it more practical. And from, from above, we can see that although relations among some important cryptanalytic tools have been investigated, the link between impossible differential and uh, integral distinguisher is still missing. Thus, we aim to fix this gap and establish the links between impossible differential and integral cryptanalysis. And in our work, we mainly focus, focused on the links between impossible differential and integral distinguishers because dis distinguishers are essential points uh, in evaluating the security of block ciphers against the various cryptanalytic tools. Uh, to do so, we firstly introduced some, um, some, some con uh, the concept of structure and dual structure, and then by using this, this definition, we firstly built the links between impossible differential of a structure E and a zero current linear how of its dual structure, E dual. And then we propose the relation between a zero current linear how and integral. Then we can build uh, the links between impossible differential of a structure E and an integral distinguisher of its dual structure. And in the case that uh, a structure E and its dual structure are linearly equivalent, then uh, we, can get, we can get a direct link between impossible differential and the integral distinguisher of, uh, of the structure E. Now we give some uh, basic definitions used in our work. Generally, uh, no matter which linear transformation a cipher adopts, it's always, it's always linear OF2, that we have the following definition, that P be a linear transformation over F2M for some positive integer M, then the matrix representation of P over F2 is called the pre primitive representation of P. <coughs> and in many cases, 
when we construct impossible differential or zero cross linear how, actually we are, we are only interested in, in checking if there is some difference or mask of an Xbox, and we don't care about the value of this difference or mask. For instance, the, the impossible differential or zero cross linear how of AES and Camellia. That's to say, if this ciphers adopt some other Xboxes, the this distinct distinguishers still hold, so we have the following definition. Let E be a box cipher with bijective or not bijective Xboxes as the basic nonlinear components. Then a structure a structure on F two N is defined as a set of box ciphers E prime, which is exact exactly the same as E, except that the Xbox can take all possible bijective transformations or or possible transformations on the corresponding domains. And, and based on this definition, we can define uh, an impossible differential zero ground linear how of this of, of, uh, of a structure. Let A B belongs to uh, belong to F to N. And if for any E, e prime, A to B is an impossible differential or zero ground linear how of E prime, then A to B is called an imp impossible differential zero ground linear how of the structure. And now we, we uh, give the definition of dual structure. Let FSB be a physical structure with SP type round function, and let the primitive representation of the linear transformation be P. Let sigma be the operation that exchanges the left and the right halves of a state. Then the dual structure of F FSP is defined as sigma FP transpose S sigma. And let ESP be an SPN structure with primitive representation of the linear transformation being P. Then dual structure of ESP is defined as ESP inverse transpose. Now we give some uh, schematic description of the structure FSP and FP transpose S. Now uh, we give links between impossible differential and zero correlation linear here. Um, Firstly, we observed that if A to B is an r round impossible differential of FSP, if and only if it's an r round zero ground linear half of its dual structure. And uh, here we give some uh, brief, brief idea of the proof. Uh, if there exists some, some E belong, belonging to FSP dual and uh, some Linear how del, del zero del one to del r del r plus one, such that um, the correlation of this this linear how is not equal to zero, then one can find uh, e prime belonging to FSP and uh, a, a different uh, differential del one del zero to del r del r plus one of e, e prime such that the probability of this differential is larger than zero and vice versa. Both cases le lead to uh, contradiction, so we proved the theorem one. And similarly, we can, we can get uh, one A to, A to B is a R round impossible differential of ESP if and, and only if it's an R round zero conjugate linear half of its dual structure e ESP dual. In IndoCrypt 2012, uh, some people uh, proposed the, the, the following method to find impossible differentials of some box ciphers with SP type round function. Uh, here we give some uh, give a brief a brief introduction of this this method. Let the input difference of i round function be xi. The difference after applying the Xbox and diffusion layer be yi and x xi plus one for given input and output differences. So the correspond, corresponding linear system, and if there is some inconsistency between xi and yi, then we can find an impossible differential. Actually, from the proof of theorem one and theorem two, we can conclude that the method presented by what one one in IndoCrypt 2012 could find all impossible differential of the structure FSP and ESP. Actually, this result can be used in the proof of security of block, ci block ciphers against 
impossible differential cryptanalysis, and because uh, we can use this result to to find the longest impossible differential of the structures FSP and the ESP. Uh, in the case P is invertible, we can change the structure F. P transpose S to FSP transpose. Actually, the, uh, the structures given in this figure are, uh, are exactly the same. And with, with this equivalent structure, we have the following result. Let FSP be a physical structure with SP type round function, and that primitive representation of the linear transformation be P. If P is invertible, then finding zero Gaussian linear half of the structure FSP is equivalent to finding impossible differentials of FSP transpose. And specifically, for, for physical structure FSP with SP type round function, if P is invertible and if P equals to P transpose, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between impossible differential and zero Gaussian linear house. And for SPN structure, ESP, if P transpose product P equals to the identity matrix, then A to B is an impossible differential if and only if it's a zero Gaussian linear half. Now we, uh, we give some links between integral and the zero Gaussian linear half. Firstly, we prove the following, uh, the following results. Let A be a subspace of F to N and A, A dual be the dual space of A and F, and F is a function on F to N. For any lambda belongs, belongs to F to N, a T lambda is defined as Fx XOR lambda. Then for any B belongs to F to N, the following equation, Boolean equation holds. And we also get following, the following lemma. Let a, let a, F, and T lambda be defined as above, and then for any B belongs to F to N, uh, we have the following Boolean equation. Uh, with, with lemma one, we can get, we can get further result. Let F is a function on F to N, A be a subspace of F to N, and B is a non-zero value. Suppose that A to B is a zero Gaussian linear half of F, then for any lambda belongs to F to N, B in a product Fx XOR lambda is balanced on A, A dual. Actually, this balanced property is a zero sum property. It is a zero sum integral property. Can lead to, uh, can lead to a zero sum pro integral property. And, and we have, uh, we have a non-zero, non-trivial non zero Gaussian linear half of, of a block cipher always implies the existence of an integral disting distinguisher. If A to B is a zero Gaussian linear half, then, uh, and if A forms a subspace, then we can derive an integral distinguisher from this, from this zero Gaussian linear half. And if A doesn't form a subspace, we can choose a subset a1 of A, which forms a subspace, then uh, an integral distinguisher can be derived from the zero Gaussian linear how A1 to B. And in this case, A1 dual is the input of the integral distinguisher. From, up, from above, we can see that a, ZC, a zero Gaussian linear how may indicate different integral distinguishers. And it, actually, it, it was mentioned in Asia Crypt 2012 that a zero Gaussian linear half can lead to an integral distinguisher under certain conditions. Well, our results show that these conditions can be removed, thus, result, thus leading to a more applicable links between a zero Gaussian linear half and integral distinguisher. And by using, our, uh, by, by using this, re, this theorem, we can, we can also use it to, to we, can, we can use this theorem to uh, find integral distinguisher of block ciphers. Actually, an R on zero, zero Gaussian linear half can be used to construct uh, an R on integral distinguisher. Now, 
we give the links between impossible differential and integral distinguisher. Based on the links given above, we can establish a link between impossible differential and integral distinguisher. Let E be a structure, FSP or ESP, then impossible differential of the structure E always implies the existence of an integral of a steel structure. And in the case that the structure E and its steel structure are linearly equivalent, we can get direct links between impossible differential and integral, uh, integral, integral distinguishers. And we now give some cases that a structure E and its dual structure are linearly equivalent. Uh, let FSP be a physical structure with SP wrong function and let the primitive representation of the linear transformation be P if P is invertible and there exists a permutation by such uh, s satisfying su uh, the following conditions, then for this structure, FSP, an impossible differential always implies the existence of an integral distinguisher. Uh, for, for instance, for the block size for SNCC2, uh, with this result, we can, we can uh, derive an integral distinguisher from an impossible differential of this cipher. And let ESP be an be a SPN structure with the, uh, the primitive representation of the linear, transform of tra lin linear transformation being P. If P transpose, transpose P product P equals to a diagonal matrix, then for this structure, an impossible differential always implies the existence of an integral distinguisher. And also we give some example for the block ciphers, Arial and Prince, uh, with this result we can derive the integral distinguisher from impossible differential of these ciphers directly. And specifically, for bit, bit permutation, the corresponding matrix P satis satisfies P transpose product P equals to the identity matrix. And so we have for SPN structure, which adopts a bit permutation as the diffusion layer, an Aron impossible differential always implies the existence of an around integral distinguisher. For the block size present, uh, with this result, we can get an integral distinguisher from an impossible differential of this cipher. Now, by applying the above links to some block cipher structures, we can derive some new integrals. Uh, firstly, we can, uh, for the physical structure with round function being bijective, we can get um, five round integral distinguisher of this cipher, and for this whole structure with f function not being bijective, we can get a three round integral dist distinguisher of this cipher, of this structure. Here, uh, actually, um, for a physical structure uh, with f function being bijective, um, the, the previously best integral distinguisher of this structure is four round integral distinguisher. And while by, by using the links uh, proposed in our work, we can derive a five-round integral distribution of this structure. And we also build, build some, uh, build a 24-round integral distribution of the cast 256 and eight-round integral distribution of Camellia without FL, FL layer and 12-round integral distribution of SMS4. And all these integral distributions of the ciphers are the, are the best integral distinguisher of these ciphers. Finally, we give the conclusion of our work. We have investigated the links between impossible differential and integral, and to do this, we have introduced the concept of structure and dual structure, and established the link in the following steps. Firstly, we derived relation between impossible differential of a structure E and a zero current linear half of its dual structure, and then we improve the relation between zero quantity linear how and integral distribution of block ciphers. That is, that is a zero quantity linear how always implies the existence of an integral distinguisher. And then we build the links between impossible differential of a structure E and its integral di distinguisher of its dual structure. And in the case that E and E dual are linearly equivalent, we can get the direct links between impossible differential and integral distinguisher of the structure E. And our results not only allow us to achieve a better understanding and classifying of impossible di 
differential integral and zero Gaussian linear curve analysis, which can be helpful in designing block ciphers, but also improve the cryptanalytic results of some block cipher structures. That's all. Thank you.